Good morning, Kilmer Community, home of the Koala Scholars. Today is Tuesday, March 8th, 2022. It's going to be a great day. It's so beautiful outside right now. What are our core values? They are respect, responsibility, and empathy. So please continue to especially show that respect and responsibility each and every day. So as you know, it is Women's History, National Women's History Month, and I wanted to feature this young lady, Jewel Lloyd. And Miss um, Bowers, our Spanish teacher, did brought her to my attention. I thought she was fascinating. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. She was born on October 5th, 1993. She is an American professional basketball player who grew up in Illinois. In high school, she was a four-year starter, averaging 24.8 points per game and 11.9 rebounds. After high school, she attended Notre Dame University, and during her final season at Notre Dame, she was named ESPN's Women's College Basketball Player of the Year. Lloyd was the WNBA number one draft pick of 2015 and played for the Seattle Storm. She had a successful she has had a successful career thus far playing for the WNBA and overseas. Now what's fascinating about her, what's important to know is that while basketball came easily to her, she struggled in school. Her mother began noticing her struggles with completing homework when she was about 12 years old. Instead of bringing home novels to read, she would bring home picture books. Her mother got her tested and she was diagnosed with dyslexia. Dyslexia is a disability that presents itself with difficulty in speech or reading. <clears throat> she was initially embarrassed with the diagnosis and she contributed her difficulty in school with the label of a disability. She eventually turned things around for herself. She realized that she could take her discipline and practice on the basketball court and apply it to her new studies. Through this perseverance and discipline, she gained admission at, to the University of Notre Dame, making academic honors while attending. She is quoted as saying, <clears throat> knowing that there are a lot of kids who look up to me for inspiration or advice, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I would. I just want to go through life with the understanding that I just want to be better than I was the day before. And if I can look back at the end of the day and say, okay, was I better than yesterday? And if I can say yes, then I'm working toward my new goal. So I hope that you find inspiration um, in that quote and uh, like recognize that we have many different learning abilities and um, through perseverance, like never giving up, you will succeed. All right. And um, before I sign off, I have a, a couple of um, jokes for you. Well, do you want to hear two short jokes and one long joke? All right. Well, I'll, I'll do that. Um, joke, joke, joke. Were you waiting for that one? All right. <laughs> All right, and the last one here. Where does the sheep go to get a haircut? The ba-ba shop. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one too. So on that note, we love you, we believe you, and we care for you. And what do I always say? Always be your best you and make today and every day a great day. I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>